is the sex recession over? And what the hell is going on with the incels? In this video, we're gonna break down a very interesting study that's gonna answer both of these questions. So yes, for the last 20 years, we've been in a sort of a sex recession. Let's figure out what the hell is going on. We have a really interesting study from the Institute of Family Studies. Let's take a look at this. So we have a graph here. So let's take a look at the red line. So these are people who are having sex weekly or more, right? And in 1990, it was about 50%. And then we see just kind of continuously drop, drop, drop. And by 2020, the number gets as low as 35%. Then we look at the yellow line, which is people who are having no sex. And we see that steadily go up. In 1990, that was about 18%. And in 2021, 2022, that number was about 25, 30%, something like that, right? We see that number going up. We see almost these lines meeting in the middle. Like in 1990, there was a lot of guys who were having sex weekly or more, and not that many guys who were having no sex. And now that line has almost merged to be the same percentage. But this doesn't tell us the full picture. We have to actually break this down by age. And that's when we get some really, really interesting data. So I want you guys to focus on two lines, the blue line and the red line. The red line is people who had no sex in the last year who are 18 to 29. And here's what's really interesting. We can see that about 2008, that number starts going up. So in 2008, that number is about 10%, right? And then we just see that number go up all the way up to 27% at around 2020. That's a massive increase in people 18 to 29 who had no sex. But then look what happens after the 2020, after the pandemic, the number just drastically drops to about 10%, like almost the lowest it's ever been for people 18, 29. So it seems that like basically when the pandemic happened, just young people just started fucking like crazy. That number went way, way, way down. But then when we look at older people, 50 to 59, we see the opposite picture, right? We see that number basically be fairly consistent. And then around the pandemic, it just goes way up. And this kind of logically makes sense because I think older people were just a lot more cautious, you know, when COVID started being a thing, where right? they were like, oh shit, I got my comorbidities, I better stay inside. Versus young people were like, yo, I'm healthy. I don't give a fuck about this virus. I'm gonna go out there, fuck the China virus type of thing. And so we see the swap. But what's really interesting is just how much that number has gone down of people 18 to 29 who are actually having a lot more sex. But then let's break this down by age. So we're looking at people 18 to 29. We're just looking at that category now. So blue is men, pink is women, obviously. And so we see that with women around 2018, something interesting started to happen. So this whole idea that women are becoming more and more thotty. Well, according to this, that's not the case because this is sexless sexlessness in per year. And we see in 2018, that number was about 14% for women. And then it went up to about 30%. These are women who are sexless, right? And then let's take a look at men. We see that number is pretty consistent. And then around 2020, it starts going down, right? So I think it's also pretty common sense. Like I think when the pandemic happened, a lot of guys were like, fuck it, dude, I don't give a shit about these. Whereas women were a lot more cautious. They're like, I don't know, live with my grandma, you know? But a lot of those guys just gave a shit less, right? So we saw this massive discrepancy. Like for a long period, of time, we see that women were more likely to be sexless, but then around the pandemic time, it flips and men start having sex more, women start having sex less, which really begs the question, like, how's that possible? How do you see them having sex less? But again, this means that, you know, multiple guys could be having sex with the same girl, you know, at different times, blah, 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 you know, kinky orgies, whatever type of scenario. But then the good news is that around 2022, we literally see these lines complete interact. And that number is basically the lowest it's ever been, right? We see the sexless number for both men and women to be around 12%, right? This is down from, you know, since 2014, it's never been this low. But there's this whole idea of like incel dumb is on the rise, right? There's a lot of people talking about this. And there is one study that I think everyone's seen. It shows you what it was 2008 and says it was about 8% of people did not have sex in the last year. And then shows you that in 2018 or 2020, the number went up to 27%. But I think it's important to keep in mind, this is only one study. I didn't even know about this. But if we, when you look at other studies, so the study that you know, everyone references is GSS, but then there's two other studies that don't actually find the same exact thing. They find almost a different picture that people are having a little bit more sex, at least when it comes to men. But then we get the question of like, okay, but why is sexlessness happening? Like why are, you know, why are men less likely to have sex or more likely to have sex? Like what's going on? I think the answer is really, really simple. It just comes down to the fact that basically guys, and to some extent girls, but mostly guys, are just taking longer to mature. And they're living with their parents longer, they're not getting married, which marriage essentially means sex, or at least if you're in a happy marriage, I guess there's some sexless marriages out there, but hopefully not on the honeymoon. But when we look at this, so this looks at incels when it comes to having parents or not having parents, we see that basically for people who have parents, they're way more likely to be an incel than for people who have no parents, right? And that makes sense. 
Because when you're basically, you have parents, right? You're probably not going to be, you're living at home with them. You're probably not going to be bringing, you know, the girl home. I've heard this many times with just my coaching clients. Like, yeah, bro, you know, I got a date with this girl, but you know, I don't know where to take her. I'd be like, your place? No, but like, you know, I live with my parents. It's going to be awkward. You know, like my mom's going to make eye contact with me while I'm busting a nut. Like I can't do that. So we, so basically that's, I think, playing a huge role that just people just don't really recognize when they talk about incels is that just people are living with their parents a lot longer which means they're having sex later in life they're also getting married less however the good news is that once you get past 22 or 23 you're much more likely to move out and we can see that the number of sexist people has actually since the pandemic started to go down all right hope you guys found this video valuable and you can avoid becoming a sexless incel who lives with your parents by checking out my free tinder guide link in the description it shows you how to get really good photos so you start actually getting matches and it shows you how to write the kind of bio that makes you stand out so basically a girl's like oh after this guy let me actually message him back and also text games so you can take all those leads you're going to get and turn them into dates basically it gives you everything and it's free link is going to be in the description thank you guys for watching and until next time